It's time to get this 48 hours in Galway underway, starting with some tea. It's gonna be crazy. Crazy fun. Tea time, come on. You should have been doing a shot of whiskey or something. Oh, that's, that's coming up later. We're Chris and Melissa. Back in July 2021, we sold our house, packed our bags, and set out for a slow travel adventure searching for great food and fun times to share. We're spending a weekend in Galway, Ireland. It's a great place for history, literature, food, and live music. We have a long list of things we want to do, and only so much time. Melissa gets so giddy with tea time. Now I like tea time where you're hitting the golf ball. That's the kind of tea time I like. I have never had tea time before. I have in Arizona once with my friend Melinda. Cheers to a wonderful weekend in Galway. Sorry, honey, what was that compliment you said? I, I went on camera. <laughs> you said you're a very sweet man for doing tea time with me. Mmm, strawberries and cream tea. Oh, look. <gasps> oh, that looks beautiful. Sure does look pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> I always get the tough drinks. I think I like tea time. Told you, Chris. I don't know why I don't always listen to Melissa, because I really should. This is amazing, isn't it? That's a lot of food. I was reading that tea time was invented by some queen because she couldn't stand how hungry she got in between lunch and dinner. So she started tea time. Okay, I dare you to finish it all. <laughs> No way. Okay, so we had tea time. So what's the next big exciting thing we're gonna go do? We're going to a bookstore. <laughs> we're going to Charlie Burns Bookstore. It's been rated one of Ireland's best bookstores. In 2019, it took number one. I guess we have to go then. Of course. We're here, Charlie Burns Bookshop. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Too enthusiastic for a bookshop. Charlie Byrne opened his first bookshop in 1989. Two moves later, a mix of over 100,000 new and secondhand books now fill six separate rooms of his shop. Okay, the bad influence of Melissa is she made me get a book, so I got this book first. I'm not a huge Foo Fighters fan, but I've listened to this guy in some interviews, and I think he's a cool dude. And I bet you these stories are good, so that's why I got the book. I picked up a book of short stories called Homesickness. It's written by a gentleman who was born in Canada, grew up in County Mayo in Ireland. And this book is supposed to be brilliant. I've read great things about it. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, hmm, I might need to grab that. Well, we did it. <laughs> so what do you think of that bookstore? Oh, it was wonderful. There were so many things I wanted to grab. Sunny Malloy's is on the Galway Whiskey Trail. When we get closer, you, you'll see like the emblem right there. That's how I found it. What's the plan here? To taste some whiskey. With so much to do, we decided to have old fashions and save the flights for another day. It protects me from the cold and rain while sleeping in. Some shocked doorway, now I pray to God for my soul to take, cause I just can't face another day. I buy a pair of stockings, and I follow them blue, and an old-fashioned lady I will make, or no. Yeah, 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 
We were boarded by a pleasant crew bound for America. Fresh water and food we did take on. Five thousand gallons and more In days we've run short Going to New York Far away from the summer of sore Now our area was affluent But no one spoke of us We were hidden behind the wall Like a sordid secret I've never experienced anything like that. Me neither, and I don't know what it was, but I just, I started crying. Just sitting there, I was so happy, I just started crying. That is like an authentic Irish experience, I, I'm assuming. It was just, it was so cool, and the songs had such meaning. Melissa and I were talking, I was comparing it to like, like the meaning of blues from the United States. It was like the songs had so much, oh, you could just feel it. Heart. Yeah. Heart and death. What an experience. Um, and by luck. And you know, we walked in there, it was like, I don't know. It, it, you know, it doesn't look like this amazing place or anything. Oh, hold on though. What? Because it wasn't really by luck. The gentleman who uh, owns Kenny's bookstore, I can't remember his name but I read an interview with him and he said that was the pub for the purists. Okay. Like if you're there for music and that's what a pub is about, then that is your bar. Okay. And so that's why we went there. That's why it was on the list. When I say luck, we didn't know that was going to happen. True, because we thought that there wasn't going to be any live music there until 9.30 and so we're like, oh, bummer. I don't know if we'll make it back. You know, those clips, it, it, it was just so cool. It was just like, what? what? This guy started singing behind me. What's going on? This is weird. All of a sudden, it was like, this is amazing. Thumb up. For sure. <laughs> but the adventures don't stop. It's time to eat some Italian food. We are going to Il Vicolo, I think is how you say it. Say it again. Il Vicolo. It is an Italian restaurant at the Irish Bar and Restaurant Awards. They just won for best Italian restaurant in all of Ireland. So we're gonna go see if that's valid, if they should have won, right? Well, well, we don't know all of the Italian restaurants in Ireland, but we do know an amazing Italian restaurant in Rochester. <laughs> so we will see. What's really amazing about it is it has olives in it and just like this cool grimy flavor that then when you dip it in with a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of oil, oh my gosh, this balsamic vinegar is so delicious. That's the best bruschetta I've ever had. I'm afraid that I misspoke earlier. I thought that it was just a really interesting bruschetta with the olives. That was just the bread. Now the bruschetta has arrived and oh my gosh. Amazing. Or should I say bruschetta? I don't know. Oh, that I'd have to say it. Food was delicious. Drinks were delicious. Swanky music 
was fantastic. That was super nice. Our food did take a little bit of time, and we're just thinking we just got the bad roll of die there. Yeah, because every, every element of it was fantastic, and I've been a server and worked in the food industry before, and sometimes there's just that one it table you can't quite get to, and you feel horrible about it. But I'll give it a thumb up about it, because it, oh, sure. it was very tasty. Delicious, and, and so much about it was spot on. Are you ready for today? Definitely. Let's go. What are we doing? All right. We are going to Air Square, also known as JFK Memorial Plaza. Then we're going to the Oscar Wilde bench so that I can get a picture taken with him because I like to do that. Uh, Stodge Face Donuts for Chris. <laughs> coffee Work and Press Coffee for me. Why isn't coffee number one? It opens later. Oh. And then we are going to walk the Salt Hill Promenade and we have the goal of reaching the spot where you kick the wall and you leave a donation for charity. Oh, wow. And then we have Tacos at Tuco's Taqueria because I love my husband. And then we are going clattering shopping for me. Then we are going to Lynch Memorial Window, Lynch Castle, and we're going out to dinner at Hyde. You know, I just don't know if there's enough on the list. Hmm. Okay, let's go see if we can get all this testing done. You ready? So on June 29th, 1963, JFK came here and I believe gave a speech. It says here that he became a Freeman of Galway Borough. I just noticed these 14 flags with these 14 different family crests. There are 14 tribes of Galway and these must be hanging in honor of each of them. What about the Lynch ones? So when I was born, my last name was Lynch. However, there are different Lynches and I'm not really sure if I have any connection with this set of Lynches from Norman. One of the reasons we're in Galway is my 23andMe results show that most of my makeup on my Irish side is from Galway and Cork. Also in Galway, there is a Lynch castle and there's a Lynch family crest that is standing behind me. So there's a chance that my roots are very much here because this did have the highest percentage for me as far as my genetic makeup. However, there are tons of Lynches and there are Lynches who are Mariners who I presume also came to Galway. Pubs are a big thing. Bad news. Donut shop isn't open yet. It's like 9.04, so. Google was wrong. Mm. <laughs> we are heading for coffee though at Coffee Works and we know they are opening at night. Coffee Works and Press has been called the place to stop for coffee in Galway by Condé Nast Traveler. Artwork Press, a small publishing house, is located here as well. You know, I feel like I'm stalking Stodge Face, the donut place, but that's proof that somebody's supposed to be there. Okay, sometimes you just like what you like. I love coconut milk, not regular milk, and white chocolate, and this uh, lovely boulangerie, Le Petit Delice, had white chocolate and coconut milk and an almond croissant, and so I'm a very, very happy girl right now. Melissa likes what she likes. The almond croissant at Le Petit Delice. C'est magnifique, or c'est go bon. We do have another setback. Our phones, which we use to record all this action, uh, their batteries are getting bad, so we lose power right away. So I have a battery, but I forgot the cable, so we can't charge the phones. So now we have to find a cable. 
Or go back to the hotel. It's the other way. We have to find a cable. It'll be more fun <laughs> finding a cable. Okay, so we're gonna get some exercise now and go for a walk. Because we need, well, I need it. <laughs> After that almond croissant deliciousness. <laughs> There's always something to watch out for. We do not climb those bars. Darn it. I believe this is part of the poetry trail. Not only is there a whiskey trail in this town, there's also a poetry trail. And here is a poem on it. Books and poetry and walks. <laughs> Right here is the Spanish Arch. I believe it received its name because so many of the ships from Spain would come and they would like offload product and that sort of thing over here. I might be wrong on that, but I do know for sure that this is called the Spanish Arch. I know too, because there's a sign that says it. All right, we just learned that it was built in 1584. She's reading more. It's built of cookies from which Galwegians traded extensively with Britain, Europe, and it was built as an extension to the medieval town wall. That's kind of cool. And in 1755, there was an earthquake in Lisbon, Portugal, that created a tsunami that then damaged the wall. In Portugal? Huh. Chris found another poem on the poetry trail. I'm all about poetry. Burn all those calories, burn all those calories. Gotta burn. <laughs> Finding the path has been difficult, but I think we're on our way. We found the promenade. The walk is about two miles long and provides great views of Galway Bay. I just want to share that usually I'm the one who's like, we've got to get there, we've got to get there. Let's stay focused. I have offered to go and check different things out two or three times. And what is your response there? we got to get to the wall. Chris wants to pick that one. Well, I haven't had a donut or anything to eat, and so I just want to get the task done, get to the food. Oh, that's what's going on. I get it now. Okay, let's go get the food. Hi, are we getting closer? I think so. I hope so. For your sake. What do you mean, my sake? Oh, you're hungry. Yeah, true, true. I'm okay. I had the big almond croissant. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was left footed. I'm feeling a little bit of kick envy. I need to do a slow motion kick. When you get to the end, they say kicking the wall brings good fortune. A few years back, fundraisers for local charity put a collection box in for all the kickers. It's a 45 minute walk from Kicking the Wall to Tuco's Taqueria. No matter where we are in the world, I feel it's important to find tacos. I put award-winning tacos on our itinerary in hopes that it would satisfy Chris's taco tooth. Melissa tells me that this is the best taco place in all of Galway. In fact, maybe all of Ireland? I read that it was all of Ireland. So I've got tacos, chicken, or pollo. Melissa? I went for something way different. I did the paleo box. It has sweet potatoes and 
some other goodness, and then also has some chicken. Good tacos. Yeah. There's more to Mexican food than tacos. All right. Yeah, burritos. <laughs> They marinate locally sourced chicken overnight in their signature spices, some of which they get from Mexico. Mmm, 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 mmm. Really good. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm. Mm. Soft corn tortillas, super spicy sauce, which I've been missing since we got to Ireland. Um, the chicken is, mm, mm. I can't describe it. I'm gonna have to eat it more to get more of an idea, but good quality tacos, really, from a guy who knows. I went for the paleo box, which has like sweet potatoes, vegetables, uh, some almonds on top, some guac. So I'm trying to get just like a little bit of everything here. Mmm. It's a nice balance of flavors. I really like the sweet potato in it, the pepper, adds a little something something. And the guac, it's pretty mellow. Like it's not super spicy, so I think I'll be stealing a little of Chris's salsa. Because I just asked for salsa verde, which isn't very spicy. And I did pick the paleo box because I had the croissant earlier. I might have a donut later. I've gotta do something that's not crazy for myself. I had to go for a bite of the chicken, see if I can sense the flavor. It's the same kind as Chris. Mm. I'm definitely picking up on some cumin, maybe some garlic. Mm. <laughs> now that I've finished my tacos, my chips and salsa, and some of Melissa's meal, I'm on good authority to let you know that um, up and pops, at least three of them. So good. My meal is delicious. Parts of Lynch's castle may date back to the 14th century, but most of it was built in the 16th. Now a bank, you can visit its lobby and learn a bit about the building's history and architecture during their business hours. All right, good news. Well, what we just found. So we don't have to go back to the hotel. We can charge. It's time for Clada shopping. I've been looking forward to this for so long. I've always wanted a Clada necklace or ring, and this shop is the original maker of the Clada ring and like Grace Kelly, JFK, all kinds of people have gotten their clatters from there, so. What'd you get? I bought myself a Clada necklace along with a few other Clada necklaces for presents. Now I didn't get rings because I don't really wear any rings apart from my wedding ring, which was the original intention of the Clada. What would happen is a woman would wear it in one direction if she was single and the other once she was married. They hooked me up with some gift bags for the presents, which is so kind. I loved my experience. Did you give them a thumb up at home? Yeah. <laughs> We're off to go see a window, believe it or not. This is a site where James Lynch Fitzstevens hung his only son as punishment for his son killing a young man who was also in Lynch's care. It's, it's just mind-boggling. The whole community was against him doing it because they just loved his son so much and they didn't think a father should have to kill his own son. 
And it wasn't done in hatred or in spite. It was done as a just punishment. He even like prayed with his son the night before he killed him by lynching. And unfortunately, this might be where we get the word lynch from. All right, it's 2.10. Stage face is open. It's done time, finally. Yes, and I thought it was great. I messaged Stodge Face, as Chris asked me to, and they responded pretty quickly to let us know something super unexpected came up this morning. They're normally open at 8.30 a.m., but today they had to open at 10. So we decided that we'd have it as an after lunch. Yeah, it's dessert. Mm -hmm. I get the vanilla cream dipped in chocolate. <laughs> I went for the jam donut. It has a raspberry jam inside. I'm not the kind of donut that most has ever really tried before. Normally it has like cream in it if it's going to be filled. But Melissa has a raspberry obsession, so she said hello. Donut theater is the best. Donut theater in Galway. You're welcome. Mmm. That is nice. Wow. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it because y'all saw me have the almond croissant earlier today. But it's so good. What's going on? I'm just hanging with my buddy Oscar. You remember Oscar from New York. That's where you met him first. This is cool. In the middle of town, inside the Air Square Center, you can see a section of Galway's original city wall. They started building this in 1240 AD. And this place was built in the 13th century as well. I love learning about the history of these old buildings. We are in an 800 year old pub. We are in an 800 year old building. No, darn it. <laughs> the pub's not 800 years old. No. It's still pretty cool. I hope it lasts 800 years. How about that? Yeah. This used to be the mayor's house, I believe, and that means it would have been uh, owned by lynches for a long time. This is pretty much your place, though. They have been treating her very well. <laughs> for good reason. Okay, really? This is a gunpowder Irish gin topped with a fever tree and the flower tonic. Does it taste any different drinking it in an 800 year old building? The ambiance is nice though. That's what makes it different. Mm -hmm. Tasted excellent last night. <laughs> it's got a creamy head like Guinness, so it looks pretty fancy. I'm having the King's Head Blood Red Ale, and it's going down quite nice. Hyde Bar was the last stop of our Galway trip. Their Chicken Supreme tasted supremely sublime. And the chicken wings and salad was delicious. Our stay in Galway has been amazing. Definite the mobile bar. Oh, so much so. You visit Galway, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be happy. In fact, there's so much here and there's tons of pubs we didn't even hit, tons of things we couldn't even get to. The whole whiskey trail, the whole poetry trail, I mean, we only got to two or three on each of those. Yeah, and we were busy the two days we were here, super busy, so good place to come to. We've been having a fantastic time in Ireland. If you want to see what we've been doing, check out these videos here and here. You'll love them.